In the industrial era 4.0, many new professions are growing without having to go through formal education. The development of esports in Indonesia is growing rapidly, as can be seen from the increasing enthusiasm. Plus, esports has become an official sport at the 2018 Asian Games. The professional gamer profession has continued to develop in the last two to three years. It's starting to be seen that some parties are serious about hiring gamers as workers with monthly salary contracts, bonuses, and targets. Game.ly, a live streaming game platform, allows young mobile gamers to channel their talents and passions for the gaming world. Through Game.ly's tagline, Life as a Game, the enthusiasm of gamers is expressed by broadcasting any game, anytime and anywhere. Currently, Game.ly has more than 70 game influencers who have joined, such as Maya Walk, Tara Arts Game Indonesia, Corrigor, and others. There is a stigma saying that being a gamer can't make money. That's why Game.ly wants to appreciate each streamer by giving bonuses for their achievements while playing live. This is one of Game.ly's efforts to encourage potential gamers to dare to work in this industry. This effort is also made to help increase the number of esports athletes in Indonesia. For those of you who like to play games and have a passion for the world of games, there's nothing wrong with practicing your skills. The following are various jobs that require a passion in the field of gaming. A game tester is responsible for testing the game and checking various aspects of it. Usually, game testers will check for bugs, whether the game is fun, and see how the story goes. Game developer, someone who works on video games, the coverage area itself is quite wide, from audio creation, graphic design, visual arts, to application production. Gaming journalist, someone who reviews games and even playing the game. A gamer in Pankalpinang, Gemma Nuzantra, admitted that he had started to know the world of games since he was a child. Starting to know the world of games from the age of three years, at that time his father bought a Tendo game for his son and he tried to play it, especially for Super Mario. For Gemma, being an online gamer is a fun activity, because it's not just a fun activity, he even makes a lot of new acquaintances and friends from surfing the mobile legend game screen. The income obtained is not certain and depends on the nominal amount of the prizes contested by the tournament organizers. For the initial stage, I usually get around IDR 500,000 to more than 1 million per month. Another story shared by Tiny Wahuni. Starting from his hobby of making video content, Tiny Wahuni is enjoying success as a professional Facebook gaming streamer. In the world of gaming itself, Tiny has recorded various achievements, one of which is being the first winner of the Free Fire Booyah Day 2020 tournament. Because of the routine of doing live streaming, Tiny has now officially become part of Facebook Gaming Indonesia. It can generate profits of up to tens of millions in a month. He said many professional gamers are retiring and becoming streamers because the coffers of profits can be much higher than being professional gamers. There seems to be a difference in how to get money. Where professional gamers are paid monthly by way of salary, and if they win the tournament, the prize money is divided between the company and professional gamers. Research and analytics from Newzoo reports that the gaming industry in Asia Pacific had 71.4 billion US dollars in revenue in 2018. Talking about the impact, it turns out that there are health issues experienced by esports players. One of the pro players who had experienced health problems was Joshua Kido Pratama when he was still in the Louvre uniform. Before undergoing the 2019 Master of Science match, Kido was admitted to the hospital due to a health problem and had to be treated at a Philippine hospital. Another example is another case that happened to Uzi. He suffered a right shoulder injury that he felt while training with his team, namely Royal Never Give Up. The effect of hours of training does not rule out the possibility of injury or health issues for the players.